Hi, and welcome back to Pixie's Projects, or welcome in if you're new. Today's coloring book collection video is all about science fiction. Um, David is upset because I have a lot of science fiction books, and he knows I have them, and he says that he also knows I'm not coloring in them. So he helped himself to my library and pulled my books. Um, it's a really cool idea for video, so I'm going with it, but... Yeah, I like sci-fi. I don't tend to color it. I tend to color fantasy more. Um, I tried to take this from a, a definition of science fiction. So there is wiggle room. People could argue with me that some of it is or isn't science fiction. Or that, you know, there's other things that would fit in here. But we pulled what we consider to be science fiction. So obviously, The Way Home is in there. I mean, Star Wars is like pretty much quintessential science fiction. So we have that one. I wanted to do it with um, my finished pages. And I can technically say that there are finished pages, but there are not many. <clears throat> so this is uh, Art Therapy Star Wars 100 Images to Inspire. And there has been coloring in here. The Way Home does have a couple buddy colors coming up. I just haven't colored them yet. This is a page David did back in 2017 when he thought he would like to color. And then he quickly realized it was not his thing and I wound up with the Star Wars book. And this is one I did in February. And this is one David did, date unknown, probably in seven, uh, 2017 as well. And that's all that's in that one. Then we have Serenity. Uh, the Firefly Adult Coloring Book. And I really wish this was better. I think that's part of why it doesn't get colored. It's one of those ones that has like four or five different artists. And if you're like me, that means you like maybe two of them and you don't like the other two at all. But there's nothing colored in here. And I really should because it is single-sided. So I could have a little bit of fun. Um... But yeah, I'm not colored in here. And this is one of my favorite shows. Yeah, like this. This is not my style at all. So, you know. Gotta look into doing that one. Next up is Doctor Who. And again, I don't know why I don't color in it. There's plenty in here to do. I just haven't gotten to it. Um, I do get bogged down. I tend to color the same things over and over because they make me happy and these are out of my comfort zone a little bit so I don't ever really color them so I guess like pulling these out is kind of like maybe I should just leave them on a shelf by themselves and actually like maybe once a month doing at least one page in one book um then there's Crayola if you can hear that we're having hail right now uh great happy spring um so this is Crayola Art on the Edge, Star Wars, The Mandalorian. I have to be careful. This isn't an actual coloring book. It's pages that come out. And again, David got me this one. I have not seen The Mandalorian. Um, not for any good reason, really. I just don't want to, so I haven't. Um, and then we're going with Steampunk. We both kind of agreed based on the definition that ran at the beginning of the video. It, it It is what steampunk is part of sci-fi. So, this is um, steampunk Disney, and I have done nothing in this either. So, it's going to be a really short video. There's not going to be a lot to show you other than if you're interested in knowing what books are out there that you don't have. Um, there's Darth Vader and Family, and I love this book. I've colored in it once when I first got it. It's just like little comics. It's adorable. I'm sorry, now I feel like I have to talk really loud. I, it's not even funny. I'm right next to a window and there's so much hail. Um, I colored this one in 2017. And that is the only one in here. And I don't, I mean, I did the cover, I guess. I wrote, I colored the letters red. I'm kind of glad I didn't because, I mean, that's not bad, but I could do better now. So I'd, I'd rather do some more now. Um... I pulled Bella Futura by Jennifer Zimmerman. It's a coloring book of beauty and beasts of the future. And not all of these fit the description, but a good bit of them do. 
Um, so we pulled it. Also, with that said, I should say that you can pull some Hannah Carl's on and some Kirby Rosanna's and also find some sci-fi pages in those. But what I pulled from the shelf, or what David pulled from the shelf, what I agreed to, was the ones that are mostly sci-fi. Um, I didn't want... I mean, I'm sure we could pull a lot more books that have one or two pages that would fit that criteria, but it's better if there's more to the book. Um, this is the only page I colored. These are... It's a double. She's here somewhere. There she is. And I did her, I don't even know when, maybe 2020 or 2019. But yeah, that's the only one in that one. And I pulled Whimsical Dreamland. And this one, I'm sorry I pulled it. I pulled it because of the steampunk fish on the front. But really, this is definitely whimsical, not, you know, what we're looking for here with sci-fi. So I apologize and I take it back. I was wrong. Um, I would love to pronounce this for you. I'd love to tell you what it means. I don't know. Uh, this is Jen Katz. This was purchased for me on Etsy for Christmas, I think, one year, um, by my son's girlfriend. These are the pages that came with the book as extras. But let's get into the actual meat of the book all right here we go so we pulled this one because we've got lots of aliens and spaceships uh, let's see where we're at here this is a very interesting book and again no reason why i haven't colored it yet except that i haven't um in here we've got some sort of device we have little people congratulations to you made it space. to the end of the video yay now make sure you hit the like button and hit that little bell down so you get notifications for when the next video comes up. We've got satellites. Same here. We've got spaceships and aliens. So this one definitely fits the criteria for sci-fi. Like definitely. Look at that. But again, haven't touched it. He has a very valid point. These books are not getting the attention they deserve. So. I love this page. Like, I'm not going to color that, just that. But I just love how it looks. And that is that book. And if there's any of these you want a full flip through on, let me know. I'm more than happy to pull one up together for you. There is one of this one coming up. I just got this, which is why nothing's colored in it. Um, but this is all robots and space. So it counts. This was R.J. Hampson, Steampunk Robots, and this is a double page, or two sets of pages in there. And then this should be on a video that's already over, but I got Futuristic Worlds from Creative Haven. This is Josh Carrington. Definitely 100% fits the criteria. And it is new. The last three are new. There's not a thing colored in them. Or, yeah, the last three are new. and the, Well, the very last one is not. It's just funny. Um, so, Steampunk Devices. Again, nothing has been colored in here. This is by Jeremy Elder. I should... Well, I am. I'm definitely going to leave these on the shelf to be at least perused regularly so I can try and come up with something to color. And then the Steampunk Animals, also by Jeremy Elder, and it's a Dover book. This definitely needs some love. And the final one, it fits the criteria of the description. Congratulations. And you David and I had a good video. long argument Yay. about it because I disagree with him. Now make sure you ancient hit the like aliens and subscribe buttons and because my guy always so says that the ancient aliens brought the new technology to, uh, you know, old peoples and that's how they knew how to do things. So technically, that's exactly what science fiction is, how technology impacts uh, society. So it counts, right? Um, this book was given to me, and, and I've never colored in it. I I don't need to color in it. I just think it's hysterical that I own this book. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get into too many stories about it, but Ancient Aliens is awesome. So <laughs> take that for what you will. Um, but that is all the sci-fi books in my collection that have 
a majority of sci-fi pages. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Happy coloring. Bye.